Daisy Evans Brown was a local photographer whose work survives uh, mostly in museums. There were others, Jane Gay, Henry Fair, Nashelle Curtis, the brother of Edward Curtis. But Daisy held a special place in my heart. Her photographs do not have the appearance of something from the time period 1890 to 1920. She was taking much more spontaneous photographs, whereas Henry Fair would take pictures of buildings or huge landscapes. Um, Daisy Evans Brown, she focused on her family and her friends. I did not find any other photographer um, that was doing the type of work that she was doing. But the, the life that is in Daisy Evans Brown's images is, I, I think, fairly unique for that time period. She actually set up a dark room in a fruit shed. She was very young when she started doing her photographs. Um, exactly, maybe 16, maybe 17. Well, one of my favorites is these women are all sitting in the river and they're in their bloomers and they're full, they're obviously having fun. And she's got someone haranguing them with a little whip, but she's got people smiling. And that is so rare for these early photographs. And she took pictures of children They, she took pictures of her brothers goofing off, her brother showing uh, giant salmon. They had a fish wheel uh, near the property. And so they'd bring in these salmon and he's standing there with all his salmon. I would say between about 50 and 80 photographs are, we're reasonably certain are, are her photographs. But we don't have any record of ones that we know were commercial photographs taken for purchase. Her husband died, and when her husband died, she was forced to uh, homestead. And she tried to uh, support herself and her two kids. And as far as we can tell, that was sort of when her photography um, kind of petered out. I feel like somebody who had a lot to say and a lot to contribute in terms of photography in our area was cut short. I'm certain that a lot of Daisy's photos are still out there. I am certain that they are sitting on people's walls right now as we speak, and um, I would love to try to track those down. And I think that there is a story there to be, un to, to be uncovered.